Hello children, welcome to our Max class. Today we are going to learn large numbers. Now let us count these blocks. How many are there? It is 10. If we put all these blocks together, it becomes one stripe of 10. 10 blocks, right? So we can say this as 10 ones equal to 110. That is small 10 pieces put together and we got a big stripe of 110. Okay. Now look at this. Here all the 10 circles in the ones column add up to 1 tens in the next column same way if we place 10 circles in the tens column it becomes what it is 100 10 times 10 is 100 how i'll show this by writing numbers the numbers from 1 to 9 are one digit numbers and after 9 it is 10 it is a two digit number now look at the place it is written in ones place since only one digit number it is ones place or we can say it as units place And see 10. 10 as 2 digit. 1 is in tens place. Now what comes after 10? It is 11. That is 1 is in ones place and 1 is in tens place. How? 10 plus 1 is 11. So 1 is in ones place. And 1 10 is in tens place. Same way, 10 plus 2 is 12. 2 is in ones place, and 1 10 represents 1. Yeah, that 1 is in tens place. Now look at this 6 small blocks and two long stripes six as the units that is ones and two long stripes represents two tens that is 20 together we say it as 26 now coming back to our like this 12 13 14 15 it goes on till 99 as we have seen in our previous video till 99 it is a two digit number so 9 9 99 first 9 stands in the ones place and the next one stands in the tens place that is 9 t 9 tens is 90 plus 9 ones. 90 plus 9. 9 tens and 9 ones. Now, after 99, that is 99 plus 1, it is 100. Now, look at this. It is a three digit number. This Zero stands in the ones place, next zero stands in the tens place, and one stands in the hundreds place. That is 10 times 10 will make 100. Again, zero stands in the ones position, next zero stands in the tens position. And 1 stands in the 100 position that I have written in the short form. 
Now, what is after 100? It is 100 plus 1, 101. How to write it? 101. One. Yes. 101, 102, 103. Like this, it goes on till 999. 999. 999 is the last three digit number, also the largest three digit number. Now, you can see 9 in the ones place, and the next 9 in the tens place, and the last 9 in the hundreds place. So, 900 plus 90. Plus 9. Okay. Now, what is after 999? 999 plus 1 will give us 1000. And 1000 is the 4 digit number. 0 in the 1's place. Next 0 in the 10's place. And the third 0 in the 100's place. And you can see 1 in the thousands place that is 1000 and this 1000 is the smallest four digit number to make it easier i have prepared a table for you look at the table the columns are smallest number and largest number the first one shows one digit number one digit smallest number is one and largest number is nine and after 9, it is 10. That comes in the 2-digit number. Smallest 2-digit number is 10. And after 10, the number is increasing as it goes. And the largest number is 99. And after 99, it is 100. Smallest 3-digit number is 100. And the largest three digit number is 999. 999 plus 1 will give you 1000. It's the smallest four digit number. And largest four digit number is 9999. Plus 1 will give you 10,000. This year we are learning till four digit numbers. So, I am stopping with this. Have a look at some examples. Now, look at the blocks. 9, 1s, 2, 10s and 3, 100s and 1,000. How to read this? 1,329. Coming to the next one. 4, 1s, 6, 10s and three hundreds. How to read this? Three hundred sixty four. Now look at this and answer. What is one ten equal to? I'll wait for your answer. Thank you for watching.